Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you a quick video tutorial on how I do man lights. In my experience, guys usually don't like them to be called highlights or baby lights, so I always stick to man lights. In today's video, I will be using my Finola No Yellow Cream Lightener with 30 volume and a 16th ounce of Olaplex. I will let you know in the conclusion of this video my opinion on the lightener and the lift. My client is a natural level 8 blonde and it's so easy to usually get him to that perfect level 10. We always do bleach and tones on him, but I haven't seen him in a few months and as you can see, he decided to take matter into his own hands and took it upon himself to throw a copper red box dye all over his hair two weeks prior to our session. Now we all know this is now considered a color correction. So male clients are not often for me. I only have a handful and that's because I no longer take male clients just for haircuts. I will only do a color on male clients and if they want a cut, they can receive a cut during that color service. However, I know a lot of you fellow stylists do take men clients 100% fully, so I decided to make this quick video to give you a couple helpful tips for a man's highlighting service. All right, so tip number one, unless the client requests PC or dimensional highlights, do baby lights. Guys I've done usually prefer that really natural look. They don't want it to be too obvious they paid for these highlights. They want people to think they came from being at the beach all day in the sun and in the water. So make sure unless the client wants that thicker, chunkier highlight look, you do small, fine sections and baby lights. <laughs> Okay, tip number two, most guys have shorter hair. If it's longer, you're in luck. My client's hair was just long enough for me to highlight. So another helpful tip is, if your male client's hair is too short or too curly, you can run the flat iron through the hair quickly before you start or do what I'm doing here and take a frame art clip or a clip of your choice and after you get done weaving each section, clip the subsection down so it doesn't stick up or get in your way. Trust me, it will make it a lot easier. Tip three is foil placement. After watching a few of my videos so far, I know you guys are aware I have a few favorite placements, but with a guy, I tend to freestyle. Do a mohawk, then do a little here and a little there. We are cutting my client's hair a lot shorter, so I didn't stick to a specific plan. A bonus tip for the rest of your blonding days for me is when in doubt, always weave it out. Guys, also keep in mind that I am correcting my client's hair during this session, trying to kick out the remaining copper red. Once I finished foiling, I mixed up some Joyco Demi Liquid Lumashine 6NA and did a paint between for all the foils so that the remaining dropouts that were red would cool down a little bit. Moving right into my final tip, which is tip number four, just keep it simple, guys. 
Do not go and give this guy a root smudge and mix seven colors for his all over toner. Always do a little tap using their natural level just to diffuse lines and make a seamless grow out. Only time you do something more is if the client requests it. My client's a natural eight, but I used Shades EQ 7N, 7NA and tapped him for five minutes and I went one shade darker to merge a level six low light and you gotta remember he had that level seven copper. <laughs> For a regular man light client, I would mix one or two colors for toner only, but this was a color correction, so I mixed four. I use equal parts of 9T, 9V, 8V, 8NA, Shades EQ, and it came out gorgeous, you guys. I honestly don't know what happened to the tapping and toning footage, but you guys know by now an idea of how I do it, and I promise in the next tutorial, I will definitely have that included. As for the Fanola Cream Lightener, I used it a couple of times and it never lets me down. I love the lift, it's smooth, it's gentle. If you're a stylist and want to try it out or a regular client and want some amazing aftercare products, go to www.salonguys.com and shop all of our Fanola products. At checkout, use code BRETT10 and receive 10% off because I'm affiliated with them and have been since December. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, we are obsessed with his hair. I hope you guys learned something from this video and enjoyed it. Everything I use will be in the description box below, as well as my Instagram name at BRHairArtistry. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the bell, and let me know in the comments down below videos you want to see in the future. Until next time, have a good day, guys.